Oh, please uh, try to subscribe now, share, and uh, this channel. Please, that's how to help us. Now, today we are still on calculus. Please, if you have not watched the previous videos on how to subscribe, on how to differentiate, sorry, how to differentiate, please try to do so. Go and learn how to differentiate from the first video I made. Now, today I've discussed on how to use product rule, on how to use chain rule, but today I'm going to, this one. He's talking on how to use quotient rule, and this guy is talking on quotient rule. This guy is talking on quotient rule, but this guy is only talking on the, the function of a function. Yes, this guy is talking about the function of a function. So I'm going to take it small, small from this simple to the complex. I'm going to do this number one and number four first before we now do this two and three. Now, for number one, I told you if you are having, if they say quotient rule. Quotient true is actually talking about divisions. Like when you have y equals to u on v. No, when you have something in division like this, that means you are using quotient true because it stands in form of divisions. Now we have this now, y equals to 1 plus a squared all over 1 minus a squared. Anytime you have anything in form of divisions, you're going to use quotient true. Now you label this one, everything you see as u, everything you see as v. Now, let us now form. What is the formula for quotient rule? The formula for quotient rule, that is y equals to v du dx minus u dv dx all over v squared. Now, do not forget, you are not allowed to put this one at the back. So, this is how it is. Now, don't forget this, our v. Our v is 1 minus s squared into brackets. Now, like I told us in the last video, that we are differentiating this. We are differentiating u. Now, if I want to differentiate this, what is the differentiation of 1 plus s squared? Differentiation of 1 plus s squared is 2x. How? Oh, your differentiation of 1 is 0. And s squared is 2x. That means 2x. Close bracket. I've already differentiated it. Minus u, we are not differentiating this. Our u is 1 plus s squared. 1 plus s squared. Close bracket. But we are to differentiate the v, the v dx, which is this. What differentiation of 1 minus s squared? That is minus 2x. Minus 2x. Because the differentiation of 1 is 0. s squared is 2x. And that is, because of this minus, that is minus 2x. All over v squared. What's our v? Our v is 1 minus s squared into bracket squared. Now let me use this one to open the bracket. 2x times 1, that is 2x and uh, minus 2x squared times 2x, that is 2x cubed, minus 2x cubed. Now minus, open bracket, minus 2x times 1, minus 2x, minus 2x, minus and plus minus, 2x times x squared, that is 2x cubed. All over one. I'm just clean here. So that means two x minus two s key minus as minus that is plus two x and minus as minus plus plus two s key all over. This one we are having 1 minus s squared plus bracket squared. Now, as you can see, 2x plus 2x, that is 4x. Now, minus 2x cube cancel plus 2x cube. And it's 4x all over 1 minus s squared all squared. That is actually for the number 1. Number 1. Let's look at it. Like I told us, I will solve number 4 for you. If I take two and three, they are a little bit long. So, now let me just take number four. Like I told us, it is something we've learned before, that is under function of a function. Two tan three x plus cos two x minus sine five x. Now we have to differentiate them one by one, and that's that very simple. Like 
Now when C tan 3x what will it give us? Tan 3x is going to be very short way. It's going to give us 3 c square 3x. If you don't watch what I did yesterday, you should try to watch it. Try to watch um, the function of a function yesterday when I, I did cos 2x. I, I think tan 2x. You see the way I actually explained it. Where I use u to represent 3x and I say the u dx and let us find y. Why? Because to tan u and we actually arrive at this. Please try to watch that. So tan 3x is going to give me 3c squared 3x. Do not forget the 2 that is here. There is 2 here. Plus, cos 2x is going to give me minus 2 sin 2x. Minus 2 sin 2x. So minus sin 5x is going to give me 5 cos 5x. 5 cos 5x. So that means we are going to have 2 times 3 times 6 sec squared 3x plus times minus minus 2 sin 2x and uh, minus 5 cos 5x. I think mean, they asked us to find the second derivative. You can see the differentiate it one so we are going to get there. We're going to get there. Whereby we do higher derivative. So we differentiate like two, three times. So just make sure you, you follow this channel up as we proceed on calculus. Now, that's his answer for that. Please, you can try to watch the, uh, the, the, the last videos on how I saw this tan 3x cos 2x and how to do this sign 5x. That's that about number four. That's about number four. Solve number one, solve number four as well. Now let us do number two. Number two give us cube root of one plus three x squared close by the all over x. Now this is our u, this is our v. According to our formula, our formula say v du dx minus u dv dx all over v squared all over v squared that is if the y is x now what is our v our v is x now like i told us we are going to differentiate the ideas that means i'm differentiating this now that, that's where the work comes the work comes now if i will differentiate what is there that means i'm going to use Function of a function. I'm going to equation two. Now, if I will use differentiate this, firstly, I have to rewrite it as one plus three x squared close bracket. No, there is a two here. So I'm bringing this three back. Love indices. You remember love indices when you have something like this: a plus power three over two. That means, well, let me say two over three. So you are going to change that to put a. 3 will come here, and your, whatever I said, your 2 will be here. So the same thing, that means when you have something like this, I uh, have to A, 2, all over 3. Uh, according to your law of indices. Now, that's why I brought this 3 bar here. Now, that means I will represent this one as u. u equals to 1 plus 3 x squared. And I say the u dx. UDX is going to give me 6x. You know, differentiation of 1 is 0, and differentiation of 3x squared, that is 6x. Now, I will now say y equals to this one has turned to u. u raised to power 3 all over 2. That means the y dy will be 3 all over 2u, 3 all over 2 minus 1 over 1. The y dy equals to 3 all over 2 into, you know, u, our SCM is 2, 2 in 2, 1, 1 times 3, that is 3, 2 in 1, that is 2, 2 times 1, that is 2, that is dy, du, all the 3 all over 2, u, 3 minus 2, that is 1, so that means dy, du, 
Power 3 all over 2 u raised to the power 1 over 2. That means I've gotten the y the u and I've gotten the u the x. I'll just multiply them together. That is, that means the y the x equals to 3 all over 2 u multiplied by 6. Because that's what I need. I need the u the x and I need the y the u, which is this. Now, for me to write it properly, don't forget that our u is this. And u is this. That means if I will write this thing properly, the y, the x, for that one, that is going to give me like oh, 3 times 6, 6, that is 18 x. u all over 2. In fact, I can say. So here yeah, that is nine. Nine x. I will not input my u back. One plus three x squared. Should not forget to do that. Now I've differentiated this right now. The version of this give me this. So I can proceed with my work. That means v and my v is uh u v x. I'm differentiating the UDX, which is that. 9x into bracket 1 plus 3x squared by 1 over 2. So, I'm just in minus. Now, what's my U again? This is my U. My U is cube root of 3 to bracket 1 plus 3x square either I put bracket 2 so I'm differentiating this one the VDX or the VDX that's X and the version of X that's 1 that's 1 all over V square what's my V again my V is X that's X square now let us just complete our stick thing what are we talking about Now, to bring it to the concluding part, now having this, let me just say, you can use this um, 9x to open the, that, this one, one times everything we see, and it's going to give us this back, as you all know. If it gives us this back, uh, maybe I can just use this 9 to multiply, x to multiply the 9, x, that is going to give me 9x squared. I'm going to have 9x squared into brackets, 1 plus 3 x squared minus cube root 3, 1 plus 3 x squared squared all over x squared, all over S squared, all over S squared, all over S squared. And I can also proceed further. I can say 9x squared into bracket 1 plus 3x squared minus, I just put this on here, 1 plus 3x squared to all over 3, all over S squared. To all over 3, all over S squared. You can just, because if I would have said that we should factorize, we should factorize, but the powers are different. This is 1 over 2, and this is 3 all over 2. And even their power are the same, we can just say, let us factorize what is all we have. But because the powers are actually different, that's why. Or even though the, what is here are the same, but the powers are different. Now, let me go to the... Number three. Number three. <coughs> now number three is saying x 
all over x squared minus 1. This one might be it's, it's a little bit longer. y equals to x all over x squared minus 1. Now, when you are solving this, this guy is u, this guy is v. Now, our formula is v du dx minus u dv dx all over v squared. All over v squared. Our v is this. And we are not going to differentiate this. That is x squared minus 1 is to power 1 over 2. But to differentiate what is it? That's d dx. That's x, right? The x that is u. Minus, what's my u? My u is x. D dx. Because I need to differentiate the, the word follows here. The word follows. That is uh, the v. And the v is x squared minus 1. Hope you are seeing. You are following the patterns because why am I putting D here? That means I'll differentiate this. I'll differentiate this. All over. What's our V again? This is our V. S squared minus 1. You don't forget that it can, it's carried 2. S to power 2. S to power 2. That means what duration of X has 1? 1. That means S squared minus 1 times 1. You still give me this thing up. Minus X. But I have to differentiate this guy. I have to differentiate this guy. So to know what to write here. This, this one also. When you want to differentiate this, we'll give that is function of a function. Function of a function. All over. You know, 2 times 1, that is 2. And 2 divided by 2, that is 1. Now what you see here. Power of the power. A law of indices. Like when you also apply this law of indices. That will be 2 times 1, that is 2 all over 2. A, that is A, actually. The same thing happened here. So this one has come to 1. That is S squared minus 1. Now, what I just mean now is to go and differentiate this one. Because I'm going to apply function of a function for this. So as to know what to write here. Now, for me to differentiate this, y equals to s squared minus 1. That means u equals to s squared minus 1. The u dx, that is 2x. And the, that means y equals to, this one has turned to u, u raised to the power 1 over 2. The y du equals to 1 all over 2, u, 1 all over, minus 1 over 1. Don't forget. That means the y du, that is 1 all over u. It's going to give me, so that is um, minus 1 over 2. If you collect your MCM, that means you are having 1 all over 2, u. Like I told you, you can bring it down and the minus will go. So that means the y ds will be the y du, which is this, 1 all over 2, u times the u ds. What are the u ds? That's 2x. Now 2x times that is 2x all over 2, u. So 2 cancel 2. So you're having x all over this. That's all over this. That means you're having x all over u raised to the power 1 over 2. That means, like, like I told us earlier, we substitute for that u. That means we are having something like this. x all over. What's our u from the particle? Our u is supposed to be this. That means x squared minus 1 s squared minus 1, that is u, is to power 1 over 2. So that is the differentiation for this. So that's what I will now put here. That means x all over this as s squared minus 1 raised to power 1 all over 2. 1 all over 2. Now, we can now proceed about this. And proceed about this. That means we are having you don't forget what we are doing. We are applying quotient rule. That means s squared minus 1 minus x times x. That is s squared. That is s squared. 
all over all over s square minus one into bracket s square minus one this is our one all over two now that we have gotten here let me create a space for us to see what i'm actually talking about now i can actually bring this oh, okay you can just say at this point what can we do now let's assume that this, there is a multiplication here and this guy carry one this guy carry one that means i can just say s square minus one or oh, what can i say what can i say here let me use this minus I say okay s square minus one minus s square all over now this guy carry one this guy carry one over two because they are the same are the same so that means in multiplication i'll just take one out of the two s square minus one i'll have the powers together one plus one all over two that's all over one this one comes with this actually we are going to have minus one all over that means we are having s squared plus one if i find the lcm that is two two is one that is two two times one that is two plus two two one one times one that is one i'm having minus one all over s squared plus one three all over two so my answer is very that's that's just the answer minus one all over s squared plus one is about three all over two that is all now please we still progress on this calculus now our next class i'm going to be talking about the derivative of trigonometric function derivative of trigonometric functions on how to how sine x become cos x how cos x become minus sine x and the likes how can we differentiate all these exponential x all this lin x i'm going to explain it very well all this cosec all this sec and the ones i've done before you can please check all these shorts and learn do, do those things and um, how we can use all these quotient to, to differentiate all those ones we are going to be dealing with them and after that we now go to higher derivative and after that we go to the applications of those calculus and uh, we move we have hyperbolic we have functions parametric equations before we now go to integrations please stay with this challenge as we are progressing on learning calculus thank you so much make sure you subscribe you watch and you share it with your peoples thank you so much